And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, let's take another look at that storm tracker because even though there's a little bit of green moving through, that also doesn't mean that we're seeing anything in the way of rain. We're getting a lot of more of those clouds, scattered clouds here and there. As you can tell, Pocatello and Idaho Falls in between there and Arco, seeing a lot of that partly cloudy action moving into tonight. However, we're staying clear of that rain, which is a nice change of pace from what we saw this last weekend into last week and what seems like for about two weeks now we've been seeing on and off rain. Luckily enough, moving forward, as we zoom out, you'll get a better look. We're starting to clear out and we're going to stay clear for quite a bit. Now that first system that we were dealing with over my shoulder right here, that's got <laughs> moving on into the Midwest. And behind that is basically clear sky. Yesterday we had sun, today we had sun, and moving forward until around next Monday, continuing to see that dry weather because behind these clouds right here, still seeing a lot more of that clear conditions right behind it. So as we move into this weekend, expect to see a little bit more of those warm temperatures because of all the clear air but still seeing nothing in the way of rain. So it will be a nice summer weekend as well. Temperatures right now starting to cool down for the night, 70 in Pocatello, 70 in Rexburg, and some of those 60s in between. But as we move forward, we're gonna continue to see those temperatures cool down. Tonight's lows closer to those 50s, 54 in Pocatello, 51 in Idaho Falls, even seeing some 40s dotted here and there, 41 in Jackson, 49 in Driggs. And as that's basically what we're going to be seeing moving forward as well, because these nighttime lows with clear skies get lower because there's no clouds to warm it up. And since we're seeing clear skies clear through the weekend, expect it to continue to be colder at night, but it will be warmer during the daytime as we move into tomorrow's highs, 84 in Idaho Falls, 87 in Pocatello and while it's a very slow warm up we are going to warm up into those low 90s for this weekend so expect this to be the first step in a multi-step warm up that's heading into Saturday Saturday will be the peak of that warm up now as I hit that future tracker we take a look at those clouds still in the morning Rexburg to Blackfoot still seeing some of those scattered clouds moving through Driggs and Jackson seeing some scattered clouds as well, but moving forward, those quickly clear out. A little bit of storms in Wyoming, but here in Idaho, it does stay clear. And for Pocatello and Idaho Falls and even the Central Mountains, completely clear, sunny weather. It's going to be another nice summer day, but once again, we are slowly warming up, hitting 87 tomorrow in Pocatello. And as we hit that seven-day forecast, that warm-up continues. We hit Saturday, and it starts to get around 90. So we are warming back up into those low 90s. Not too bad, but for your eclipse on Monday, expect a couple scattered showers. Now, that does mean 30% scattered showers does mean you will still be able to see the sky for the eclipse for a majority of the day. Unfortunately, we still will see some cloud cover here and there. So just be wary of that as you move forward, especially if you're near Arco or in that open area where you will see them from a distance. Just keep your eyes out for those showers. Rexburg, very similar. Temperatures warming for the weekend. Not too bad, though. 86 in Rexburg. 79 in Teton, though. So might want to hit the Tetons this weekend. While everywhere else is hitting those 90s, getting those upper 70s. And while this rain does hit once again on Monday, it will be a little bit cooler. And finally, for the Central Mountains, staying in those 80s. So basically what we expect to see just, just west of Arco, continuing to see those temperatures a little bit cooler. But even on Monday, Ooh, keep your eyes day. out for those eclipses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you may just see it if you use the proper, uh, yeah. <laughs> proper glasses. But it's going to be a little deceptive because people are going to be going out for the weekend, staking their claim out mm -hmm. in the wilderness, yeah. and. Maybe they'll get some clouds. Maybe they won't. Well, I expect to see a little bit of moisture here and there. Just keep your eyes on the horizon. There will be some scattered thunderstorms moving All through. All right. Thank you very much, Paul.